Hi guys and welcome to Living With A Pacemaker week 25, thank you ever so much for tuning in. If you are new to my channel for the very first time, you know what to do, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified anytime when I do any uploads for you guys exclusively for your entertainment pleasure right here on YouTube.com. Now one of the things I want to actually stress to have one of you guys is as I'm sitting in my lovely, lovely new studio part of my room that I've built, especially for my YouTube videos, well, put a desk in, put a shelf view in, and done. <laughs> you know, I glammed it up a bit for you. I got your hopes up there. There's no massive budget whatsoever. I've just done what was already in my room and recycled it. But one thing I want to actually stress to everyone, you guys, is that there's no DVDs and Blu-rays today. I do apologise about that. Is because obviously I only had one shift last um, couple of weeks ago and when I got paid on Friday that went straight to my mother because obviously that pays my way in life I've got to put a roof over my head and all those lot but fair not at least one thing I've had a shift this past Sunday and one coming this Friday so that's two shifts goody more money which I fucking need but I'll give you a little update on certain things all right pacemaker fine health fine there you go if anything different i'll be completely vanished off youtube miss out a week for you guys but i don't mean that in a bad way guys don't even think that i mean just like if my health was bad everything so you would actually know and um other than the shifts I've given you updates on, um, my vlog, me and Chris Jericho, is now available on Daily Motion, so please go check that out. Um, I put a video montage up um, on the Sunday, if I recall. I set it on for the Sunday to be released. It's now released. It's about uh, gangster movies. Please check that out because I put hard work into that. Um, might have another one in June that's ended towards the end of June to be putting up it just depends how I feel because even though I put a lot of hard work into them I do it for free you know I'm not asking much if you want to make a donation that's why the patreon's there and it helps me out in the long run um now with these shifts that I've got this week, and I don't know about next week yet, because next week's writer isn't out yet via our email and staff Facebook page. Um, at the moment, I'm actually thinking of me and another wrestler, because obviously I'm going to be missing Collector Mania this weekend. Kind of sucks, because of lack of hours at work. Is it this weekend or is it next weekend? It's, I think it's a nice weekend. Anyway, I'm missing that, so I'll meet, uh, if plans go to plan, I'll let you know on a weekly update for you guys. But, saying that, my laptop's bleeping me, great. So, I wasn't expecting that to happen. But, if I do, because... This is what I like about wrestling fans. They help out each other out. Because of, with the stress and that lot with that event, I didn't fancy spending £89 plus for a hotel. Even though I was planning to just get a day return because it's only an hour's journey away from me. Manchester was a different kettle of fish. This one's happening in Sheffield. So... My friends offered me to stay at his, which is a bonus, you know. I, I wasn't expecting it, but it's nice of him to offer. So if that all goes to plan, you would be notified on a weekly update. So it's happening in July, if I made that vlog. And it'll be uploaded, uploaded within 48 hours of the event, hopefully. So... Saying that, meeting these wrestlers is addictive to, to do. I've got to admit, though, London Film Comic Con and Collector Mania has been quite weak of them. 
Wales Comic Con. Looks a great uh, lineup um, to have on professional wrestlers. They've got Mick Foley again. They've got Trish Stratus, one woman I would love to have met. Hoping I can get the money together for that, but doubt it at the moment. Very doubt it. Um, job application updates. When I applied for that same um, that supermarket chain here in the United Kingdom turned me down because I was overqualified how can you turn down someone that is overqualified it makes how is that possible to be overqualified for a job you know people used to look for experience now they just hinder you for it you know, it's win, win, win or lose situation. Granted, it's catch twenty two. It happens. I'm positive that I got an interview, but the sad thing about it is, didn't get it. You know, the money would have came in handy. You know, it's just one of the struggles trying to find something else as well. Um. Like I mentioned, that vlog me and Chris Jericho is up now on Daily Motion. I enjoyed making that. I enjoyed filming it apart from the journey parts. <laughs> you can tell because I get travel. I feel ill after tra traveling on a coach. I'm fine on trains, but coaches. Bleh. But yeah, glamorous life of a vlogger. Travelling by public transport. Tri I should be driving a Ferrari by now. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Um, it's hard to think of things to talk about that I want to share with you guys. But people do enjoy when I do share that day to day life. And I still can't believe I'm overqualified for a job. You know, that baffles me. Why entertain me for an interview when you know full well I'm going to be overqualified for it? Why does people waste people's time? I'm wasting my money as well getting that birth certificate if you can remember. Oh yeah, I found the old one. It was in my room all the time. Oh, for the love of God. My life sucks. You know, they say life is what you make it. I've tried to make it. Can't make it. You know? But at the end of the day, I'm staying strong. I've got great people that I interact with through obviously the wrestling community through Twitter as well as Facebook. They keep me entertained, they keep me posted. Oh, yeah, if you can hear my PlayStation 4 menu at the moment, I'm currently downloading the FIFA. World Cup 2018 update. It's going to take three hours. My internet's a bit slow at the moment. So obviously the internet's built in due, in bills that is due. So. Not a great deal, is it? You know, I'm taking every day as it comes, as, a, as I've got to. But. Being overqualified. Who would have thought it? A guy with 35 being overqualified for a job. It's beyond a joke. But that's about it, really. Just giving you an update. My health is fine. I'm staying positive, staying strong. Regardless, of whatever the world throws at me. You know? So. Until my next weekly update, I'll catch you guys soon. You know, I don't have a glamorous life to vlog every single day. You know, I'm not shooting at the people that do, but I get by. But it's nice to meet new people through my workplace. That's another positive. See their strengths and weaknesses. I don't critique people. But anyway. Until next time guys.
I'll catch you guys soon for another pacemaker update, collection update, or whatever update. <laughs> That's how it feels. But until next time, catch you guys soon.